Hi guys, we're headed over to Pottery Barn Anthropology and Crate and Barrel today to check out all their new spring 2024 arrivals and so much more. I'm taking you through each store and showing you everything that catches my eye and I'm also sharing if I think each piece is worth it or not. I love using these stores for inspiration especially, but some of these items you can easily get the same look for a better price elsewhere. So if that's the case, I'll be linking the designer dupe, but if I do think it's worth it, I'll link the exact item you see while we're shopping here. Of course, some of these high-end prices are justified by their quality and uniqueness but some you can definitely save your money on so I am here to share all the details with you let's just get started at Pottery Barn I love this chunky knitted blanket and I actually do think it's worth the price. The quality of these Pottery Barn blankets is unmatched in my opinion. I have gotten similar knitted blankets and fur blankets from TJ Maxx and they definitely don't last very long and they're not very big honestly. I've learned to invest in good quality throw blankets so I don't have to keep buying new ones every few months. I love the wood stain on these farmhouse dressers. I also really love this Cayman set. The light wood color feels so coastal and modern and I just love this look. But you can find pretty much the same one on Wayfair for $3.79 while this one is a thousand. So I mean. These Sherpa blankets are so soft and cozy. Again, if you want a blanket that's going to last longer than a month, Pottery Barn is definitely the way to go. This cute little arrangement is new this spring. It has a white ceramic wicker looking vase with these beautiful white flowers. This guy is really cute and I do love how realistic Pottery Barn's faux stems are. Love, love, love these chairs, but maybe not for $500 each. I could do two for $450 though, for definitely not the same, but a very similar look. Some more spring items with the chinoserie pattern and the ginger jars. I am all for that, but you can definitely find ginger jars at TJ Maxx for a fraction of these prices. I really love the shape of these beads. They are huge and pretty long and heavy, so I feel like the price is justifiable, but I also feel like if you're crafty, you could probably make your own for like 10 bucks. Here is the vase section. These are all so beautiful, very heavy and such great quality. I do think you can find similar vases at TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby if you're lucky, but that is not always reliable. So if you're in need of vintage or a handcrafted looking pottery, of course, Pottery Barn is a great option. This is kind of what they're known for. I really like this little olive tree, but the price is pretty steep for this little size, but it does look very realistic, I will say, especially the stem or the branch. It's also very unique with this little pot, and I really like just the minimalistic feel that olive trees in general has, so I was really drawn to this one. I 
love this brown planter. I actually almost picked this one up. It would be a great just staple decor piece that you can use year round. Here are some eucalyptus stems. I noticed they had a lot of these out for spring this year. Their faux stems and florals are pretty pricey here, but they do look so realistic and they are great quality. I specifically love the hydrangea bunches. They were just gorgeous and I actually almost thought they were real for a second. I kind of regret not getting these because they're definitely the most real looking I've ever seen. A little pricey I will say for faux stems but they are they are not Hobby Lobby quality. They are very real looking and very nice in my opinion. This black olive tree, you guys, is my dream. I love this so much. It's pretty tall too. And I love the sparse branches and how it casts that minimal look. The leaves are super realistic if you ask me. And they're not like the other olive trees with the silk leaves that look kind of fake on one side. These are more plastically all around, but they still look real on both sides of the leaf. I will get this tree one day, mark my words. I love it so much. I also feel like compared to the other olive trees that they sell here, this prize isn't too bad. I think 200 is a little much for this marble checkerboard. It is huge, but I have seen similar ones at Home Goods for a lot less. So maybe check there first. So that other sparse black olive tree I do think is worth it, but this one just looks so identical to the Target olive trees. I feel like if you're going for this style, I would say save your money on this and go for this Target one. This one at Pottery Barn is $549 and that is not including the planter. Here is the little Valentine's Day section. I do love these marble heart coasters and $30 is not bad at all for them. I did find similar ones at Home Goods that I shared in my last video, but honestly, I like these ones better. They look very high end because, well, I mean, they are. <laughs> super regret not getting this heart. This is a pretty good price and it's a perfect subtle decor piece for Valentine's Day. I usually never decorate for Valentine's Day but this year I decided I will just a little bit and I think the concrete natural look of him he would just blend in so well with my neutral decor and I think he would be so cute styled on a shelf. Pretty good price too. I love these leather swivel chairs. I have some that are very similar to these that I love in my living room. I will link the ones that I have here. So if you want to get the same look for a lot less, um, there you go. These woven ottomans are $300 a piece and I just feel like that is too much. So here are some that have the same feel and also has storage for only $100 each. Yeah. 
That is all for Pottery Barn. Now let's quickly move on to anthropology. There wasn't much in my store, but a few things did stand out to me, including this candle. Not the biggest fan of the bright green color, but it was absolutely the best scent I have ever smelled in my life. I wonder if they have this scent in other jars, because if they do, I will pick up about 10. I just love it so much. If they don't, maybe I'll just get this one and give her a little paint job or something. Um, they also had some cute Valentine's Day decor. They didn't have my heart glasses that I have here, but I will put some footage of them here. I love these icon glasses for all different seasons. Here are the white and pink heart glasses that I have. They just make me so happy and are such a great price. Now onto Crate and Barrel. This was my first time visiting in store and let me tell you, when we walked in, our jaws were on the floor. It was beautiful. I have never loved more things all in one store as I did this one. Of course, most of these pieces are way over my budget right now, but it was definitely fun to browse and get some inspiration. Their showroom was so well set up and I was so impressed by their pieces. It was full of a lot of light and airy natural vibes with their wood tones and furniture shapes. We were just in love with everything, to be honest. I guess I never really knew how much I loved Crate and Barrel until now, but this store is just gold in every single way. The first half is the showroom that show all of the displays and big furniture pieces. And the second half is their stock of all of their decor pieces and kitchen items and just everything else as well. This store just kept going and going. I swear it was so big. If you have never been to a Crate and Barrel and you have one near you, I highly recommend to check it out sometime because honestly, just looking around and gathering ideas was such a cool experience. Here's an art cabinet I spotted. My friend Jenna from Jenna's Home actually sent me a great dupe for this cabinet that I honestly like even more because it has windows so you'll be able to display your decor. And I have been on the hunt for an art cabinet and this one from Walmart is definitely the most affordable one I've seen. So I will link it here. Thank you Jenna for the recommendation.
leave a comment and say hi down below. I would love to have a chat with you. Also, let me know if you've picked up anything for spring yet this year. There's about six inches of snow on the ground here in Colorado. Um, but just because the outside doesn't feel like spring doesn't mean we can't make the inside feel warm and springy so i am just so excited for all the upcoming spring content to come it is by far my favorite season to decorate for because of all the neutral everyday year-round staple pieces that you can use in your decor i think a spring decor incorporates the most practical and year-round staple pieces so i am so excited to get to decorating and to just make all of the spring content this year I have seen very similar black funky vases like this at TJ Maxx. They look almost the same, so definitely check your stores before making a bigger purchase here. I love how their vases are a bit more modern. It definitely brings in the more organic, unique style, which I personally am loving right now. You can find some cheaper similar vases at Target though, so maybe also check there first if you are also into the style. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. I post all kinds of decorating videos, designer dupes, home makeover videos, and shop with me videos like this. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. You're the best. We will see you in a few days in a brand new decorating video. Bye.